Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today I'm back in Grand Theft Auto Online with NPC and Twingo, and we are doing yet another customization battle. If you didn't see it last week, we did the 8F Drafter. We got to go over the voting totals from that customization battle, and in today's, we are going to be doing the Bravado Gauntlet Classic Custom at Benny's. So anyways, let's go ahead and hear the votes and find out who is going to have to sell their car. Starting with second place, the safest of the, all the positions, we got myself Twingo with 473, that one in the blue. First place, the winner of the battle goes to NPC with 914, very Damn! nice to see, and the loser being Harmlon with 324. <laughs> Rest <laughs> in that peace. For Fortnite pulled up. Fortnite it pulled up, boys. It's cool, bro. Uh, it's got sauce. Ooh. It's kind of cool. I think you did the best Ooh. thing you could do with delivery. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not the yeah. biggest fan, but obviously it's a winner. So very looks, cool. Looks better than a 40 year old man's car. Dub, yeah. Fake it's gold wrap delivery. Yep. Blech. Uh, looks like applesauce. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Can't yeah. run. I'm not All been right. on this end in a while. It feels like. Yeah. All right. New car. Oh my. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Alright, All right. let's get, get in this thing. The door. Oh. It's Benny's time. Opened. It's go. Benny's time. Venus time. <laughs> Definitely. Bravado Gauntlet Classic Custom time. It is. It's that time for real. Good luck. Alright boys, here we are inside of Benny's. We're gonna go ahead and start upgrading. We go armor first, brakes. We're gonna go all the way up on those as well. The engine all the way up, of course. And we got to do the transmission all the way up and the turbo as well. Okay, now uh, we get to do the rest of the stuff. So we're going to start off with the bumpers. We do have quite a few different front bumper options for this thing. Um, we're definitely going to have to take a, take a good gander through here and find out which one we actually want to go for. A lot of these are pretty ugly, I must say. I think I'm going to go for like the single vent instead of like the dual, like the split there. I feel like the split is not very, uh, not very cool looking. Um, so I think just go single vented nose cone. Let's just do that for the rear bumper. Uh, primary, we can go primary bumper with overriders. We got the bolted bumper, bolted bumper with overriders or bolted custom setup. I don't really love the chrome. Uh, seeing as that the front of the car doesn't have any chrome either, I think that I'm probably just going to go for either the primary bumper or the primary bumper with the overriders. I think just the primary bumper. I feel like it's cleaner. I feel like it's nice looking, so we'll go for that. As far as aerials go, I don't really want to go for one. All right, next up for the rear panel, I think that I want to go for the secondary rear panel. So we're going to go for that. Roll cage, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm just going to avoid it entirely. For the sun strip, we could probably go for one. I'm not sure if I want to do it just yet, so we will come back to that. For the exhaust, we do have quite a few different options here. Um, we do have some side exits, which is kind of interesting. I'm not a big fan of side exits, though. So I think that I kind of want to go for maybe the anodized exhausts. I feel like those are kind of nice. So let's go ahead and throw those on. For the fenders, we have the fender inlet vents. We also have the primary vent scoops. We got those in chrome as well. We got those in carbon. That's gross. Fender ducts, chrome fender ducts, and carbon fender ducts. And then for the rear fenders, we also have the gauntlet vents, um, which are not very good looking. So I'm going to avoid those. For the front, though, I think that I will go for the primary vent scoops just because it's something for the car. You know, we might as well. Uh, we can do the blacked taillights. We can do them in secondary as well. We can do the primary black topped taillights, or headlights, sorry. Secondary black topped headlights, black primary topped headlights. Those are kind of cool. I think that those are what I want to go for. We're going to go for those. For the hood, we got the nose accessories. We got the bumper lips that we can do here. Um, the ridgeline bumper. I don't really, yeah, I'm not going to go for any of those, I don't think. Uh, hood catches, though, we could go for some. I feel like I, feel like I wouldn't mind the secondary hood latches let's go for those for the hood we can go for the snorkel hood we can go for the carbon snorkel hood we got the ridgeline hood uh we also have the twin intake hood the twin intake hood is really cool looking on this thing i won't lie we also have a bunch of like blowers and stuff like that i think i'm gonna go for the the twin intake hood that is just so cool looking to me i it, i think it's kind of the best one honestly so we'll go for that for the interior, we can go for some different sort of styling options here. I guess it is like kind of a race car, but it's like kind of not at the same time. I feel like I'm going to keep it like pretty stock, honestly. A tachometer, I might 
add, but like it doesn't really match up with like the rest of anything in here. So like I'm kind of not feeling like going for it. The door cards, I'm not really feeling that either. The seats, like there's not really many options and I just don't feel like, I feel like it just doesn't match up with the rest of the interior, you know what I mean? So I don't really feel inclined to like go for it. The stock wheel's also really nice too. It's like, I don't really want to do that either. I don't know. I'm going to go ice white for the dash dials. Um, I know I'm keeping it kind of basic, but like, I feel like it, it fits with like the theme of the car sort of. Um, as far as the lights go, I think that I might actually keep them stock. I feel like it just like fits better with like the rest of the build. So we're going to keep them stock. I will go for that neon to lower the center of gravity, not for looks. Uh, somebody commented about they couldn't imagine going for a white neon. It's not because it like looks good. It's pure for functionality, but anyways. Okay, livery, stamped bravado. We got the white gauntlet. That's pretty cool looking. I actually really like that. We got that in black as well. We have the red gauntlet. We have the number 36 Baracho, the number 55 Rally Racer, number 81 Bil Bilgeko, Bilgeko, uh, number three Demon Oil. Kind of cool. Uh, we got the Tritone. That's pretty sweet too. Hot Shot Tension and Back to None. I think that if I'm going for one, I'm probably going to go for like one of these. I don't think that they look very good with the metallic though. So I don't know. We'll have to see about this, but I think I want to go Black Gauntlet probably. So let's go Black Gauntlet for that. For the mirrors, we have um, stock, chrome, we got secondary, we got bullet, um, primary bullet or secondary bullet. I'm gonna go secondary regular mirrors. I feel like they look really nice, so we'll do that. Yellow and black for the plate for sure. For the respray, I have an idea in mind. I wanna go for a yellow as the primary, so we'll do that. And then I wanna go for a black pearlescent on it. And then for the secondary color, I wanna go matte black. Oh, except it doesn't match up with the stripe. That's the only thing. Oh man, it's kind of counting on it matching up with the stripe. Hmm. Okay, maybe we just go metallic black then. Yeah, we'll just keep it metallic black. I'm sure we can probably change that too. So I'm not, I'm not tripping about that too hard. For the interior color, I think I'm probably just gonna leave it like black. I think that's the only way to go. Uh, now we can do the primary roof, which is cool. We got the vinyl roof or the carbon roof. The carbon roof, gross, man. On this thing, super gross. Uh, let's go primary roof, I think, today. And then for the skirts, definitely gonna go for something. If I can do something in the secondary color, I will try to do that, but I don't know if it's really gonna work. I might have to go primary. I think I'm gonna have to go primary. It's just not enough secondary color, like stuff on the car to like make it really work. Maybe, maybe actually. Doesn't really, I don't really like how it doesn't like actually match up with like the fenders though so i think i'm just gonna have to go like primary honestly probably primary ridged i feel like I feel like that's the best option splitters we can definitely go for some um let's see i definitely wouldn't mind going for like one of these like wedged sort of splitters or something like that um maybe honestly i think the pointed panel splitter in the secondary looks really good maybe we can go for that and then maybe we can actually go for one of those secondary skirts let's do that that's kind of that's kind of cool looking i feel like i feel like that matches up pretty nice and then spoilers we got the ducktail spoiler we got the inset ducktail spoiler the low level spoiler we got that in primary we got that in secondary i like how that does match up with the livery option there that is really cool we also have the primary super spoiler or secondary super spoiler i think i have to go with like one of the super spoilers i feel like i feel like it, it's just so good looking on this car i feel like it's very iconic looking let's see which one do i want to go for i think just the secondary super spoiler i feel like that's the one i want suspension i definitely want to lower it it definitely needs some lowering that's for sure for the wheels I'm probably just gonna have to go for regular muscle and I might have to go for the Krakas just because they look so good with every muscle car ever. I'm gonna have to go Krakas, I'm not gonna lie. Let's do them in black. And then tires, let's bulletproof them. Tire design, I think for this one, uh, I would go custom tires, but I just, it says drag radial on them and I'm not like super big on that. I don't think that it looks like that awesome. So I'm gonna avoid that. And then for the window tint, I will go, I'm just gonna go maybe dark smoke today. I feel like dark smoke looks really nice. Window plates, oh man, we can go for the louvers. I think the louvers on this car actually look really good. I'm gonna have to go for those, I think. Is there something I can do with the, where are the headlights? Because, uh, or what, what bumper option was that? Was that, oh, headlight covers. I think that I wanna go for the, um the primary black topped lights or can i just go oh full secondary lights perfect that's what i want 
just to get a little more black on the front of the car because there's not really much there. And then for the hood, is there anything I can actually do to like give a little more color to the hood? I don't really think there is. Maybe I should keep the stock hood, honestly. I don't know, like I don't really want to, but at the same time, I think that I will because it just needs a little more black on the front of the car there. And then what about those fenders? Can I do that? Do we have those in, can we do them in black at all? Like I don't want carbon. I want like secondary color. Why would they not give you the secondary color option? That would have been so cool if they did. Oh man. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. The only thing that I could maybe do is like just actually change the primary color from yellow to like something else. Man. I don't know, the yellow, the yellow is pretty decent though. I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna head outside. Let's see, is anybody else out here? Uh, okay, going right back in. Trigger's already got a yellow build, so go ahead and just uh, go back in here and we'll just, <laughs> just switch out. We're going lime green, boys. We are going lime green. Lime green and the pearlescent. Do that in a black. There we go, perfect. Okay, lime green, done. Hello. Ha ha, hello. Hey, I, I see you follow the rules. Yep, I uh, I like lime green. I really just like lime green. I, I just, lime green. Uh, something was just calling me. Uh-huh, that's yeah. pretty fire. I do like lime green I, Dodge stuff. I think lime green is a very cool color on these cars. It looks sick with the, the black livery back here too. Yeah. The green or writing. Yeah, nice. writing on it. Yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty tight, that's for sure. Solid stuff. Yep, yep. What yep. made you not do orange? It was a different orange. Or it, was a yellow. it was yellow. Oh, well, I'm race yellow. It would be different. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I, uh, right. yeah, I, I, right before I came out, I considered changing the color up. Um, going for like, I don't know, some other type of color. Um, like, a, I was thinking about like a cream actually or something like that. I feel like that, that could have looked really cool. nice. I was thinking of doing like a royal purple kind of thing at first. Ooh, that could that be really That would definitely really look neat. good, but it's yellow sold me. Yeah, the the yellow and black on this car is like very, it's, it's just a very safe, safe bet. It oh, really yeah. is. Um, you know what? I kind of want to change my wheels. I feel like these look kind of nice. I'll pick those for a sec. I'm going to raise my suspension slightly. There we go. Ooh. Or just the six gun and they don't clip through the fenders anymore. That's good. Oh, I also just, good. I also just noticed that. Very nice. Very nice. Alrighty. Hot stuff. I do like that hood that you picked. I had that hood, but I switched because I wanted a little more, uh, a little more black on the car. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the hoods that these come in with like the OG challengers and stuff. They're a little bit smaller, I think, mm -hmm. more like in the hood but they look awesome yeah hello jesus finally hello yeah i know i took a while on this one but i think it's for a good cause i'm so i'm so excited to talk about this interesting I'm so excited yeah? to talk about this all right cool well i got a nickname glad. for it already I'm but yeah i do too <laughs> yeah well it's supposed to be going for something so oh, okay. all right all right let's talk about uh, it let's talk about it okay i've gone for a missile build on my car with a metal black steel uh, the interior color is also black steel. I've gone for a Torino red on the front to try to match with this livery in the back. Um, it's I don't remember what it's called. The gauntlet AC one that goes over the spoiler. I've got red rims, red crackers. I've got the secondary color side skirts, the custom side skirts with red neon as well. I went for a roll cage for a tiny bit of red on the interior. I thought it looked nice. Um, primary roof as well. And then I've gone for the mid hood latches with some red. Uh, just because I feel like the exterior of like a nuclear warhead looks kind of, it's not smooth, it's not sleek, you know, it's its kind of got like bolts and stuff all over it. And then that's what I tried to do with this uh, hood option as well. I don't remember what this is called, like the twin intake or something. It just looks like extra plating, makes it look a little, just a little rougher, a little more aggressive. And then on the front end, I have the single like duct for the vent uh and then i have the secondary nose with the i want to say that's the quad intake on like the bottom side of the the front end and then on the back i have the primary plate um since the lights are already red i i thought the color integration looked nice yeah, i went for it. the usa red <laughs> <laughs> and then um 
for my exhaust, I have the anodized exhaust because they're black and uh, they look charred as if um, something had just exploded. And then lastly, on the side here, I went for whatever those three lines are called. Nice. Oh, and yeah. um, I think, yeah, that's it. Solid. Awesome. Oh, let's open the interior. So Benny's car, we got to check this out. Oh, anything special? Uh, no, uh, not really. Um, considering it's going to get blown up, like I didn't, I don't want to add extra funding into that. Oh, true. Can you pop the hood with the hood pins? Great question. I let me see. Nice. Hey, pretty nice. Damn. Nice. I can't oh, believe you can't cool do anything engine. under the hood with this car. Yeah. It's kind of unreal to me, but interesting stuff. Nice. Yeah. Cool. cool. Not too bad. Right, red rocket. All right. Yeah, this one <laughs> I've I believe is based off the Plymouth Super B kind of thing more yeah. than the Dodge Daytona. I love the yellow. As soon as I saw you could do the headlight thing kind of reminded me of it except it kind of does like look a little bit like a raccoon but it's kind of cool because <laughs> they're very cute but which is one uh -huh. thing i noticed we did the same hood as npc i'm a big fan of those twin intake ones a secondary roof i almost considered the vinyl but i like this one matches with the uh, yellow paint a bit more uh the livery that's part of the hood also does the uh or the lights does the writing back here and on the spoiler got the painted uh secondary black by the lights uh yellow black plate stock wheels because they're a bit wider than any other uh custom wheel you can do so i think that's pretty cool i think that you look good too and they already got like some drag radial custom lettering on it not too shabby side exit exhaust right under that vent which i think looks pretty phenomenal it's not too like in your face about being a side exit but quite efficient and i think that might be it for the exterior let's check inside i went with the rally interior because I thought it looked pretty sick with those new upgraded dials and stuff. And it's kind of like a mini race car with a bunch of mods under there. And custom, or no, stock wheel to steering wheel because it's pretty sick. Stock seats. I really wish you could get bench seats in it. That would make it perfect. That would be cool, yeah. And then dark smoke on the windows and that should be it. Nice. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Very cool. Epic. Okay. All right. Um, I've gone for my car in a lime green. I originally came out in a yellow because, and then I went back in because, well, rules are rules. What yep. do you mean? It, it's still yellow. No, it's lime green. <laughs> um, I was always going to make that joke. <laughs> so for mine, I went with the black headlights because I thought that they looked cool. I went with the stock hood because I wanted a bit of black there. I want, I went with the uh, front hood catches, I guess it is. Uh, I went for the black livery, even though it's like gray, which is like kind of a huge piss off. I wish that that was like actually black. Mm. Like it's kind of gray, which oh, is really yeah, it's annoying. More like a graphite kind of thing. Yeah, but I still think it looks okay. Um, and then I went for the, I think it's the just the plastic splitter in the front. And then I went for the my secondary uh, side skirt, which is a black. And I did the back plate in a black as well. Uh, I went for the six gun. Uh, wheels in chrome because I feel like this car looks good with chrome. It's an old muscle mm -hmm. car. It's kind of like a part of it. And oh, it has yeah. exhausts. Um, I went for the louvers for once because I feel like it's very like era fitting. And then for the interior, I went like completely stock. I just don't think that it needed anything on the interior. And I felt like mm -hmm. if I did anything, it changed it like way too much away from being part of this era. Like I felt like if I put mm -hmm. any extra dials on it or anything like that, I felt like that just took away from the. Mm -hmm. um, the whole like overall look of the car and everything and then i went for the primary like side vent things there um i didn't go for this for the ones on the back uh fenders because i just don't think they look that good and that's about it i think nice all right nice nice oh sorry really quick i forgot to mention on the back of my car before we hop into the roasting is that i added these three like window supports on the back just oh, i didn't to make it look yeah. like uh i guess rougher i don't know they just seem like they would be on the exterior kind of, of the braces missile. Yeah. 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 I also meant to say I forgot, but my interior color, like on the seats, is actually a midnight purple. Oh, so that's cool. Oh, it's like that's a actually. Very dark uh, leather that's very thing. cool, actually. I thought it looked. Yes. I like that. That is nice. I do yeah. like that. Looks good. Nice. Okay. Nice. What? Right. Okay. Time. Twingo, twingo, twingo. It's time. Wait. Yeah. On three, two, one. We're gonna say the name that we both. Oh thought yeah. Of for NPC right. guy. Okay. Three, two, one. Red Rudolph. Red. Oh no! I was gonna say Red Rocket. Oh. Uh, like the, you know, Rudolph. I mean, that's because the family because the red nose. That one because the yeah. red nose. Suppose, yeah. yeah, like the a warhead missile, like a nuke, is gonna have a red nose as well. Not necessarily, yeah. but uh, it, it, like a cartoon missile, probably for sure. But 
It's yeah. like you think missile. What's the first thing that comes to mind? It kind of looks like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sort maybe. Yeah. I, yeah. Anyway, you're really unoriginal for going crackers, and I know that's something you would roast me for. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What, you know, when yeah. have I ever used crackers? You've used. You would tell me every time that I use endos on like a JDM car that it's so basic. Crack is on a muscle not car. Crack is on a muscle car. Oh, that's not the same, bro. It's you're not gotta the be kidding same, me. Because how often do we do muscle car customization? It's not that often. I've seen you use crackers before, hundred percent. Yeah, because I love crackers. These are my favorite muscle rims. They look but good, but the, the amount of times I've used crackers in a customization battle is definitely less than like three, for sure. But. You've used the them. amount of times that you've used endos it's, is more than I can count on one hand. It's it's an automatic, just it's it's an easy way out for a muscle car to use crackers because they fit with every single one. It's basic and it's boring, and you're lame for doing it. Okay, well, boom, crackers are cool. So. Crackers are cool. They are. Cool. I think your car looks super funny with the hood you picked and the vent and the nose. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a grand wizard uh, like, from a fantasy a grand game. Wizard. I see <laughs> what you're saying. Yeah, I actually can completely see what you're saying. Um, it's so funny. You have just way too many vents going on. I think you've got the the top one on the bumper, and then you got four underneath, and then you got two in the hood. I don't well, know. Yeah, That's it's a supposed lot. to be so that the like. You know the reaction doesn't overheat and explode in midair. It's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, they're like little jets. Supposed to make it to the ground. It, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's. I do think this back plating on the that's car looks more stupid super than helpful ugly. to your build, though. Yeah. It, it looks kind of looks like a jail simple. cell, or like. I yeah. I see that. I don't know. Just not very cool, in my opinion. I it, do I'm agree. not gonna lie. I just threw it on because it was like. It kind of needs something on the back end. I don't particularly think it looks good, but I don't think like missiles aren't supposed to look pretty. They're just supposed to look like they are. Have you seen the just, dictator? They're giant. If they don't look sharp metal. and pointy. They're not very cool. Yeah. Uh, this one's got that, but you have to make it look cool. At the end of the day, it still is a car that's supposed to look like a missile, and I feel like those take away from like I don't know. I mean, obviously it's on a car, but like I feel like it just takes away from the overall look of the car. So maybe okay, a like bit. sure, valid, I suppose. Gotta say, I don't know if anyone else is feeling this way, but I'm not a fan of red painted wheels. I think they look weird, especially the crackers, honestly. Um, I've used red painted wheels before, for sure. It's hard to match them, that's for sure. Like with I the don't even care if it terrain. matches, I just feel like it's quite out of place. I don't know like can, what really does it for me, but I'm, I've just never been I a can, fan of them. I can kind of see it. I feel like if I were to do black crackers, that is that is like the most basic thing I could have done. It's like the default. So I was like, red, yeah. I think it just adds something to the build. You know, it, I've got a bunch of red everywhere. Um, it kind of adds just a little more color integration than having it just on the front and the back. That's why I tried to do the interior as well. Just give it like a like little spots of red I thought made it look nice. Okay. How often do okay. we go for colored wheels other than like black and gray and brown? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. But speaking of colored that. wheels, I actually respect that you guys both did the um, chrome. chrome. That's yeah. pretty cool. Chrome, I, I'm a big sick. fan of the six gun. I need to say that now. The six gun is so cool. Man. Yeah, I'm very happy with how they turned out, actually. I may or may not have had black crackers on my car and then I switched. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. That's I cool. find it really weird what the hood is doing. It's got like a completely different texture to you're black up here and yes. gray over yeah, here. Well, it just throws me off. A it, bit. It's this car it's is anything. a jumbled mess. Uh, the the black on that hood, like the only reason I picked it is because I wanted more black on the hood, but mm -hmm. it definitely is a bit of a different black. But I think that it does almost sort of match up with the splitter if you squint. Um, and the louvers, maybe a little bit. Maybe if it was a bit glossier, I think I, that'd be I, fine. I just think yeah. this, this is just a typical rock star, like, oh, we forgot to texture that, whatever, release it anyways, like, type yeah. of thing. Like, it's just annoying. Um, I, f I feel like I can't even blame you for this one because this is like the only option on the hood that you could have put yeah, black on. Yeah, in black, yeah, like, and without it, doing the whole thing. And it just looks, yeah. it, it would just I mean, look so basic without. Uh, doing that like like there's so much primary color on the front of this car that you cannot get yeah. rid of so 
Yeah. What did you guys think about the bug catchers? Because I thought they looked kind of sick. I think they're always a little overkill. I think, I for yeah, a, like, like I, big race. Car. I just can't do them, man. I, I've never been a fan of bug catchers. I think that they look really bad all, all the time. And they honestly. get in the like, way of when you're driving too. Yeah, like, that's true. I'm just not a fan of it. Okay. I don't know. Okay, but yeah. the losers in the back here. My God, I feel like they're they're just so extrusive. Yeah, and they're like, really elevated. They are, yeah. they are, but I feel like they're so 70s. Like, they're so sad. They fit with this car so well. Like They fit the era, but I don't think it looks good at all. I think, I think they, like, I Can usually you anything if you hate louvers, but I really think those look sick. I'm not gonna lie. I oh, really you like them. Oh, you can see out the back. Yeah. I, I think when, like, your statement of going for a certain area and all that also being the reason why you didn't touch the interior, like, I, I'll accept that, you know? I can't really roast you for that if that's what you're going for. Because, yeah. Because, like, I'm not gonna say I like these louvers, but it is era fitting. It, it, it's so, like the chrome so, wheels. So, like, yeah. It makes sense. It's so, so 70s. Like, I don't know. It I'm, looks I'm, like a mullet for the car. Yeah, yeah that's cool. <laughs> it's sick. I just really. I, in right now. I just hate that, that that is like gray and not black. Like, it literally says in the thing, like, black gauntlet, like, yeah. stripe. Mm -hmm. And that is gray, bro. There's no. That is not black, no matter how you slice it. Like, that's fair. yeah pisses me off kind of sad anyways whatever that's okay yeah um twingo i i feel like this hood on your car like I, I don't know how to describe it these like the intake the twin intake parts i feel like i could just pick up the car from those like a suitcase or something i mean i feel like you could say the same about your car i don't yeah, think those look bad but it blends in more because it's metal like on twingo's car it's like so separated it's just a bit of chrome it's just it's a just bit like of crown, buddy. It looks quite black I, I, in most lighting. You know, I, I will cool. say, um, instead of those vents, the ones on your rear fenders are absolutely god awful. I think those are very cool. I, I hate love those. The rear oh, the Mustangs ducks. have those. They I'm remind sure me of the new Dominator GT. You know, the ones that you can put on there that look like so absolutely terrible because they extend the car by like an inch on either side, maybe two inches on either side. They remind me of those, and like I just don't think they look good. I don't think it looks good either, to be honest. I think they stick out like Dumbo ears. Yeah, yeah. like it just, I love Vince in the back. Just kind of looks like if they were integrated into the car, like if they didn't stick out. Like they were, you if know, they kind of came dumb. like more into yeah, the like back if if fender, if the, if cool, the fender yeah. went in instead of coming out, like that would be okay. Um, yeah, but I yeah. also think that it's also it's just too much with your side exit being right underneath it as well. I think it's kind of perfect mm -hmm. with that. If it was integrated a bit better, I could t definitely could see that. I never really looked at it from this angle. I don't. I. I also. I'm just gonna say right here. I hate side exit exhausts. I don't know yeah, what it is. I. Know I, you I, do. I don't know why. They're, them. they're pretty sick. I also really liked how it fill, how it filled in the back bumper when you have side oh, exits. Oh, that's kind they of cool. I just feel like I just feel like the back of the car without an exhaust there looks so naked and like kind of boring. Like I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the exhaust is a big part of like looking at the rear end of a car. I, mean, I think I'm more of the taillights, honestly. I think I he the taillights. I don't hate this just because he went for the pretty aggressive rear bumper. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think, right? it, may, I think so it makes like up for it. For I think it, it makes yeah. up for it. It's got those like flashlight things in the back of the reverse lights. I don't know what those are. Yeah, I don't know. Those kind of look like exhaust. That's good enough. <laughs> I do yeah, feel like, like that. if there's side exit exhaust, they should either be tucked into the, like the car's body line or or have like the, the really long chrome pipe one. That extended along the whole thing. I thought that one looked cool as well. These just Those feel are like... ugly. I think these are much more like wow. efficient. Oh man, they just they just stick out like a. Uh... Like where would that exhaust? The other one would Wait. stick out way more though. Where does your exhaust run? Does it under go the car and come out? Does it go down and then it goes underneath where you sit and then it comes back up a little bit and then comes out? It looks ridiculous with the door Probably. open. That looks so stupid. What if it goes through the middle? That just seems so inefficient. Oh, no, it would let's... have to go underneath like your seats should we, and you. Should like... we do a test thing real quick? Uh, no, no, I think it's oh, fine. Maybe at the end. I guess we'll have to leave uh, it yeah, in. Yeah, we could. I don't know. I don't know. I think that all of them honestly like, look pretty good. There's just like little tiny nitpicks here and there, but I think tiny. I do have a nitpick for yours as well. I'm oh, not a fan okay. of the vents you have uh, behind your front wheels. I think those are more like old 40s, 50s kind of cars, honestly. I feel like they fit very nicely. I don't know. I do agree. It's, I don't know. It feels it feels like a really plastic, cheap AutoZone well, add-on that you just fit on. Keep there. in mind, this is a Dodge. 
and yeah. it's from the 70s and there was a lot of fake vents going on at the time so i don't know i can kind of see what you're saying I, was saying, I thought that's when they had real vents no i don't think dodges ever, ever really had real vents low-key but um mm. except around like the new oh, hellcats that's bold okay the yeah. splitter. The splitter. Oh my god! I, I barely I noticed bar it. Yeah, I barely even noticed it. In the that. shadows. Yeah. I'll minus points this, for the splitter. Yeah. Minus points for the splitter. It looks good, Ooh. man. I don't know what you're talking about. You're tripping. No. It looks stupid. <sighs> Your car just looks like an anteater without it. It just has this huge nose that just sticks straight out, like nothing. Yeah. Now right. you have oh, this stupid weird. beard on it. Now you're never. I think, I think it looks yeah. nice. <laughs> Annoying. I think it looks really nice. <laughs> nice. I just think it, it juts out like more than Twingo's side ex exit exhausts. Yeah, it just ruins it's the air literally within the, the body it panel. Does. Wait, what? It's it under does. the body the panel. That. Look, it, it looks sick. Side, it, it looks that's sick. No way that's gonna help. Airflow. It looks so much faster and cooler without it's, it. it. It's gonna help airflow because it's gonna keep downforce in the front end. That's the whole yeah, point you're of go it. Slower. Okay. I, I just whatever. feel like that piece would cause so much drag. It it definitely, it definitely would. would. Yeah, but that's the point of it. It's that's why it's there. It's to, to push the front end down. Is this a drag car? No, not necessarily. I mean, you can make it one, but it, you want downforce on the front end so you can turn. You do. It doesn't do anything, though. So why'd you put it on? Because it looks cool. I don't know. It I doesn't like it. look cool. Minus I mean... points. Final answer. I think I think Twingo's car looks pretty ridiculous at the back end, though. Look, look bro. <laughs> What's on the back end? Bro, it's so naked from the side over here. Your car just has nothing under it. Like, I don't know. It's just... It's so big without the exhaust there. Like it's just, it's yeah, so tall. It's so sick. It's so tall that it looks like a truck. Tall is pretty cool. Tall, tall is, is king. Pretty damn tall. It is super tall. Muscle cars that usually have a tall, tall back end and a smaller front end. It looks badass. I guess. I, don't know. I think it kind of looks really uneven and kind of weird, I, but. I it is it probably wouldn't... taller because I didn't lower it all the way too. I didn't either. What did you do? I, I did, I think the second option for lowered suspension. Oh, so you should be like. Maybe, higher why maybe is it lower because i have an exhaust and you don't why does your like back end look lower though because maybe it's because it's close i have an exhaust and you don't i think CSC is an exhaust i think if harmon went for no exhaust it would look naked but because twingo has this um, yeah like these extra pieces i can't that's that's kind of true it, it yeah. works it works you guys can have your bickering married couple moment people love yeah. that never gets <laughs> off my <right> head <laughs> honestly Never gets off your back. I hate you both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I I'm think it's time to race. Oh yeah. All right. I could agree. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Super B time. Epic. Epic time. All right. Rise of the bumblebee. Bad luck, gentlemen. Oh. That's rude. Well, why is the view so far? What? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. On oh your left. Oh, oh my god! Oh! The missile! That was insane! What? Did he just flipped over? Twingo just Dude, completely griefed us. What? <laughs> he literally Brother. pushed me into the thing, so. I did not, not push you into the thing. You didn't leave me yeah, any room. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, Harmon didn't leave me any room. Well, well it's Harmon's fault. I, how, how am I getting blamed for I had nothing to do with anything that just happened. You didn't leave me any room in that other customization. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, did I not upgrade brakes? Really Bruh. upgraded brakes. Please. Oh man, eh? Um. Yeah, nice. ah! Are you having fun, NPC? Sounds I'm like it. Time. I think the brakes are just shit on this car. Yeah, they definitely I think, are. I think that's the case. Oh, oh my god, man. Let's give that a. Dude, the brakes are yeah. awful, man! <laughs> Ride your bumper, Twinga. Pause. Oh, yeah? What? My naked bumper? <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> You're crazy. You're a criminal for that. You called it naked. You want it. Oh, Twinga. Oh, Twinga. Oh, oh Twinga. Oh, my God. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, man. Twinga, how does it feel to get passed, buddy? I don't know. <laughs> hey. Why are you trying to push me, buddy? I'm not trying to push you. You Goodness left me, me no choice. Twinger is playing aggressively, man. He's in first place. This is not good. <laughs> like, literally on Dude, his bumper. <laughs> you are unbelievable. Here, I flipped you back around and I waited yeah, for you. Oh I'm sorry. God. I was. Uh, what? How is he here? Oh How is he here? God. Oh, NPC just. <laughs> 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 
so you just killed me. You completely just ended Twingo's life. Well, that's revenge. That's that is me out in the first That is brutal. That is so uh, unfair. Wow. Well, no way, wow. no way USA with the missiles gonna lose, right? Wow. No. Only if Biden's controlling it, I guess, really, but <laughs> yeah. Probably s send it to Chicago or something by accident. My bad. Oops. Oh, man. Minnesota! <laughs> Minnesota! Yeah. Awesome. All right, NPEC. Yeah, go ahead. Just so you NPC know, I'm gonna first. break really early. Oh my okay. god, you just teleported like so close to me. What the hell? Take him out. Oh, these brakes suck balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so oh, tough. Oh man. Armnon is by himself. Oh my goodness. Get him, Twingo. They're not even yeah. close. They're not even close to me. Oh, sorry. Hey, watch it, sorry, you guys sorry, are gonna, I apologize. You guys Leave me room here. Are totally Twingo's rubbing Jesus. all up on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, bet, yeah. Oh, lathering, lathering you up, yeah. <laughs> what? Shit. I will say, I am glad no one went for the king build. That's lazy. Yeah, that, yeah, that is that would lame. Be lazy. Yeah, it's super lame. I think NPC deserves to lose just because, I don't know. Oh my god. Feels oh my so, god. You know, I gotta say, it just feels so good to win. It just, it's, well, it's just a lovely feeling. I just love winning. <laughs> when you don't give anyone else room. Yeah, and like, you cheat. Uh, I yeah, didn't, you, cheat you like guys, that. you guys took you each other out that entire time. It had nothing to do with me. No, no you literally wouldn't have taken you out me you. into him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what you guys are saying. I'm just I'm tuning it out. Yeah. Straight up, man. It's embarrassing. Well, it must be embarrassing to lose that, huh? Damn. That was a race of all time. Damn. Wow. Definitely these was a Twingo race. with Best the best lap, lap. bitch. Let's Damn. go. Oh, I'm taking votes right. away from Twingo. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Just to negate your best lap. Yep. That's what negate it. <laughs> Never let it. him win. Never let him win. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Bravado Gauntlet Classic Custom Customization Battle in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys enjoyed this video, like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to NPC and Twingo as well as myself. If you guys are new, make sure to vote on the pinned comment down below. We want to get those numbers up. We need to get into the 1000s. We still haven't reached it yet, so please keep voting. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.